Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is the best smartphone available right now. It's a big phone that's designed for big hands and it takes the very best of what's on the smartphone market and puts it together in a compelling package that we have loved testing. The Super AMOLED 6.4 inch display has been measured as the very best around, with super colors, great dynamic range and essentially the very best viewing experience you can have on a mobile phone. The default resolution is Full HD+, but you can crank it to QHD+, and it's very sharp, with HDR10+, for superior contrast and color. That's a very important feature if you are a movie watcher on your phone. Plus, there's a fingerprint scanner embedded in the display. The battery life on the Galaxy S10 Plus is an improvement over the S9 Plus, thanks to the larger 4100 mAh battery inside. It will easily reach bedtime with double digits still left in the tank. The S10 Plus also offers Samsung new wireless power share, allowing you to wirelessly charge other devices on the rear of the handset. The back has a triple lens camera that takes normal telephoto and new ultra-wide photos. You can capture more of what's in front of you without having to take few steps back. The Galaxy S10 Plus is packed full of the best Samsung has to offer and it comes together to give you the best smartphone experience around right now. The Samsung Galaxy A80 has a premium glass design with a metal frame running around its circumference which feels good in the hand. The phone comes with a 6.70 inch touchscreen display with a resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixels. With a full HD plus resolution and Super AMOLED panel, the display on the Galaxy A80 is bright, clear and colorful which should be bored well for gamers and Netflix viewers. Samsung Galaxy A80 is powered by a 1.7 GHz octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G processor. It comes with 8 GB of RAM. Samsung Galaxy A80 happens to be the first smartphone to launch with a slider mechanism along with rotating camera. The whole point of the rotating cameras on the Samsung Galaxy A80 is so you can utilize the same great cameras on the rear of the phone on the front. The main 48 megapixel sensor is the default camera available to you when you open the camera app. But it's easy to switch between it and the 8 megapixel ultra wide camera which allows you to fit more into your shot. The third camera is a 3D depth sensor providing excellent background blur for the live focus mode which defocuses the background of your shots while keeping the foreground in focus. Overall, this smartphone is an amazing piece of technology specifically for those who love gaming and passionate about smartphone photography. Samsung Galaxy A50 have curved back and light build. It offers excellent in-hand feel. The panel is dominated by a stunning nearly edge to edge display with a U-shaped notch on top and a slight chin at the bottom. The phone comes with Infinity U Super AMOLED screen that just looks fabulous. It has a full HD plus resolution with 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. The screen is bright, vibrant and seems well calibrated. The Galaxy A50 display also comes embedded with a fingerprint sensor. The Samsung Galaxy A50 is driven by an Exynos 9610 chipset. The Galaxy A50 consists of triple camera system as one of its major highlights. Samsung has once again opted for a 25 megapixel primary sensor with 1.7 aperture, which is coupled with a 5 megapixel sensor which have 2.2 aperture and an 8 megapixel wide angle sensor which have 2.2 aperture also. For selfie lovers, there is also a 25 megapixel camera which have 2.0 aperture placed right inside the U-shaped notch. The design is cool, AMOLED display is good quality, the One UI software is better than what most other Android brands have to offer, and battery backup is excellent. The day-to-day -day performance should be good enough for average users over a longer period of time. Samsung Galaxy M40 is the fourth installment in the company's online exclusive M series. It's also the first M series phone to include a competent Qualcomm chipset and Samsung's striking One UI software. The front of the M40 is dominated by an Infinity O display, whereas the O represents a punch hole. Samsung has managed a 91% screen to body ratio, and that makes Galaxy M40 quite manageable and handy. The Galaxy M40 has a 6.3 inch screen, which has FHD plus resolution amounting to 409 ppi. It shows punchy colors, can achieve a maximum brightness of up to 480 nits, and the calibration is quite good. The Galaxy M40 is driven by Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 chipset. With 6GB of DDR4 RAM and 128GB of internal storage, M40 have 32 megapixel with 1.7 aperture sensor as a primary rear camera. The primary sensor gets the assistance of 5 megapixel depth sensor in portrait mode. There is another 8 megapixel sensor on the back that can capture ultra wide angle shots. 
Apart from these rear cameras, there's a 16 megapixel with a 2.0 aperture sensor for a selfie on the front of the phone. The Galaxy M4D fixes what has traditionally been a limitation of affordable Samsung phones. This time Samsung particularly focuses on the performance hardware and uses the popular tried and tested Qualcomm chipset instead of a Value Exynos SoC chipset.